Hey guys, <coughs> sorry, sorry about that. Watch this video here. Welcome to my second walkthrough, which will be Mega Man Zero. Uh, now this game right here is pretty special to me because the reason why it's special to me is because um hold on <coughs> excuse me the reason why this game is special to me is because this is the first Mega game that I actually played and beaten. Now. From what I've heard from people saying that this game, at first time I played this, this was like the hardest game in the world to me. And I was like, I can't beat I can't beat this game when I first tried this, but when I tried it my second time, it was just like I was speedrunning it like I was a ninja or something. Now I'm just be quiet and let you guys just enjoy the cutscene. And now we start the game. Hold on, rest in peace, man. Even though you were a grunt, and you, you, you need people you like usually die first, you're you're a respected man in my eyes. Now let's go to this in honor for our friend. Now <coughs> this game, the story behind the game, this game is basically the beginning of Zero. In case you guys don't know, this is like the prequel how Zero became Zero. And what he went through, become the person he is, and this takes place right after. A, I'm trying to remember, I think it was. This takes place before the whole Mega Man X series would come about. So, in this series, you're gonna see all the stuff that Zero went through and how he became the man he is today, and etc. Et now. 
This game is real. If you know what you're doing, this game is pretty easy. But if you're doing this for the first time, you won't just break a lot of deaths in this game. Trust me. And if you go up here, there's gonna be. If I can, if I can find my way to get up there without getting hurt. If you go up here, you're gonna find. Come on now. Okay, I got this one time. This is embarrassing. Okay, I'm trying one time. Oh, almost had it. One more time. Alright, now if you go up here, you're gonna see this little cage right here. This is the silent elves, but we can't get that yet because we don't have the Patmet sword. Oh, I'm sorry, the same Z saber that Zero uses, so which we're going to receive here. boss of the game which which is pretty which is a pretty easy now the way this boss it runs is he will shoot up and down and he will bring out these boulders and whenever he does that you're going to wall jump in the game and you're just gonna shoot him in the face for a while and he'll and sometimes he'll repeat the same process all over again. And you just repeat yourself until the game tells you to stop. There's there is times where he will shoot down, but if you if you stay in one certain direction, he will just shoot up. I'll try from that one. Right here. If he shoots down, you just wall jump. And if he shoots up as so, you just stand right next to him so you don't get hit by the boulders. And here we go. This is where we'll get our Z Saber of the game. And he will be done. And at last, he's finished. Defeated. you see right now is seal well, after you read it this this is the person you'll come to whenever you need to save a game or begin a mission and you'll be seeing her a lot when it comes to that sort of sense and this is a transportation that you'll be able to go to be able to go back into missions and ooh, got a B and I'm a sniper yes but anyway you'll be able to go there to go to different places and to get something that is called cy Cypher Elves. Now, Cypher Elves are really, um, they help you out throughout the game with, with, like, if it comes to health to even reducing a boss's level by half, they are really helpful. But sometimes in the game, <coughs> I will not, you will not see me use that Cypher Elf until maybe the last portion of the game, which I will need it. 
now what Seal is telling right now is what's happened in the past and why they had to wake up Zero so early and telling you that you are Legendary Zero. So Zero is enough. Zero does not know what happened in the past, what happened during his past because if you guys don't know he was basically Dr. Wily's ultimate creation in order to stop Mega Man X at the time but then he ended up becoming a good guy yeah and an awesome at that please help us I don't know that no way is looking pretty tempting right now but I got no choice The reason I'm not talking during when they're doing the text is because I don't know if it's a bad thing to talk while the person while there's text in the game because I know that people I know that in the let's play world it is like it is frowned upon to talk to read the text but eh, I'll just I won't talk during the text because I know I'm not gonna let my viewers think they're stupid just by reading it. Unless you guys want me to, if you leave a comment, sec comment down, then I understand. I'm just guiding around, jumping, just trying to check some break. If you go in here, I'm just going all the rooms to collect any crystals. Now, the crystals in the game, when you collect them, you'll be able to upgrade the Cypher Elves in order to become even stronger than you are before. Now, enough of me procrastinating, we will now go to our second mission, or our first mission of the game. Alright, we're going here. Let's save. Well, oh, after she finished talking, that is. Of course I'll accept, and yes we'll save. Alright, here we go. This mission here, we're going to destroy um, the disposable sensor because we, cause if you're not in, we have some people that are trapped in there and first hit. And we're going to, and this will be our second boss we'll see in the game. And the reason, and um, well, I'm I have lost words there. I don't know what I was gonna say. This mission right here is is not really hard, but it's not really difficult. In the same t at the same time, and oh yeah, at this part that we're gonna be here. There'll be there'll be a moment where you can. I'm getting hit. This part here, the amount of times you use the weapons you have here, you will upgrade them to do to get them more skills now to use against bosses. And right here, if you just stand by this specific boss right here, like we have a skill, you'll gain a lot. You'll gain more skill, but this is sort of like the grind of the game. It's gonna take a while to gather everything, so I'm gonna do this a couple times just to get just to get up to speed in this certain boss. Alright. That's all I needed. I just I just needed to get the triple slash and to charge up my boost. Now I'm going to need to gather some health. And that was unexpected, but we got another skill, which is be able to charge or slash as so. Now this is going to be the most, this is probably the most effective attack in the game, because later on the bosses will come in handy 
when we gather the elements. Alright. And based on the and this game will give you ranking depending on how fast or how slow you beat the game. So if you were to die once you'll get it your, your rank will be slightly lower than usual. Alright. That was a fail. Alright, now we're at the, our boss. <sighs> now let's hope let's hope all that tedious grinding comes in handy. Uh, no, in this boss I would hold jar shot and this is our first boss of the game. First. Second boss of the game, just forgive me. <coughs> now this guy is actually pretty easy. All you must do is just dodge his attacks, but um the 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 bad part about this boss is that you have, you have a time limit to save the um, people that are down there. So if so if you are to you can lose two ways if you get hurt, if you get killed or if you run out of time. So a couple more hits, one more hit and he will be done. But I have to wait for him to stop it. Stop that and he's done. Anything for a comrade, comrade. Now, right here, this is this is one of the elements I'm talking about. You'll gather, I believe, three elements in this game, which will be thunder, which we have, fire, and ice. But we'll receive those later when we. Fight to find the other bosses. Now we shall return to the base. Level B Destroyer. Now, for my goal for this for this um playthrough, I expect to be finished with this in less than. I'm gonna go on a wing here and say ten or less, depending. On how many deaths I take in this game because before I started LPing this I did a quick speed run see how how if I'm lacking in the game or if I'm going to die easily and I be in this in a in a short amount of time so out for ten less than ten escape unit and the escape unit is it's sort of like your get out of jail free card for this game if a level if a mission is too hard for you then you can use the escape button which is down here and you'll just get out the mission but the process will be counted as a failure and we don't ex and we don't take failure failure is not an option Alright, 
start by that. But this guy right here, we will come back to this guy about a mission or couple, and he will give us about two for two weapons for us to help out through the game. Now we're gonna go back up to Seal to do our third mission of the game. And in case you guys didn't know, notice that everyone that's here are human and Zero is the only Reploid in, the, in their base. So that's why they're so dependent on this guy. Yeah, let me save. You can never be too careful. Now, ne now right here. You can pick any of these missions, it will not affect the storyline whatsoever. So, we're gonna go with the first one, which is destroy the train. <laughs> oh no, I'm about to sneeze. Okay. 